believe we're already in the second week of September and the very start of autumn. Um, summer's been and gone now. The last two months have been quite disappointing really weather-wise but we do have a bit of sunshine today so I'm going to potter about the garden, do a bit of deadheading, a little bit of tidying up. So um, finish my usual cup of coffee and then why don't I show you around. So I thought I'd start with a view from my summer house as you can see I've still got um, petunias and geraniums in my pots. They are past their best now. Um, constantly deadheading um, but I will be thinking about removing them soon and re-sowing for the autumn winter months but they've not done too bad this year I'm quite pleased with those so this is my pond and I hadn't realized um, I've obviously been quite neglectful the water level has dropped considerably so I need to top that up but I've um, I've got an iris here and the creeping jenny which is doing really really well and um, that has a little yellow flower and then I have um, hornwort which is the oxygenating plant and there's lots of that that's just multiplying on its own I've got my lily and the frog bit but look under here on the bottom side of the leaves can you see that they're snail eggs so I've got lots of water snails as well and some other little critters but yes I need to top that up that's for sure I have had a bit of a problem though with um, blanket weed which I think has been introduced on the hornwort plant or certainly one of the aquatic plants that I introduced into the pond so I have to get uh, an amount of that out every day but it's doing okay I'm pleased with it I also seem to have um, got sunflower which I think is, is just a seed that's germinated off of the bird tray so I've left that to its own devices that looks like that's going to burst into flower so you'll probably remember a few weeks back I planted my um, little gem, Lola Rosso and Rocket salad leaves. They are doing well, although the cabbage white butterflies tend to um, zoom in on the Rocket. I've pulled off loads of caterpillars, so um, they've been nobbled. There's not much I can do about that to be honest. leeks I planted they're getting established I think they actually need a good watering and I probably need to do a little bit of weeding as well but no they're doing okay I still have as a confession the rest of those um, oxide daisy seedlings to weed out but I might do that later and those of you that have followed me for some time now know that this year and last year I've suffered from the mosaic virus and I have lost huge amounts but this is the runner beans and they're holding on and there's been a few leaves that look like they've probably got the virus but they're still producing so that's one of my successes this year These are another success. They're looking a bit untidy now, but they're coming to the end of their life. But if you grow tomatoes, um, you'll know that you get little suckers at the leaf joints. So just come in here. You can see there's one here. You should really pinch them out. But these two plants were actually suckers that I removed from plants I had in the greenhouse. I shoved them in the ground. They've done better than all the other plants that I had. So these are sort of grown by accident. And look at the 
tomatoes on them, they're so heavily laden. There's some actually starting to colour up now, but those that don't, I should probably make some chutney. But I'm really, really chuffed with that. So, you know, when you grow your tomatoes, if you do pull out the suckers, if they're quite good size, either put them in water till they root or just put them in the ground or a pot and just keep them moist and they will develop their own roots and take. This is my garlic chives and this is the Verbena bonariensis. Um, the butterflies absolutely love this. I've seen quite a few red admirals in the last couple of days. It's so pretty, but the bees and the butterflies absolutely adore it. Well, sadly, these have all got the mosaic virus now, but I'm just going to leave them to finish uh, their fruit ripening and then they're coming out. But they're hanging on. This is another tomato plant that was actually a sucker that I rescued. Got some more salad leaves here and over here. I had spent um, a day cleaning the greenhouse and disinfecting all these great big tubs after the tomatoes succumbed to the mosaic virus. I've got some more sweet peppers here but then look at the leaves I've clearly transferred it to these as well so I'm just beyond despair <laughs> but this is the this is a Cheyenne chili they're lovely some more peppers here this is the habanero and then these are really lovely. Look at these. But can you see the, the leaf where it's yeah, it's got the virus? And then these are the Apache. Oh, they're fiery little things. And I've got my two lemons over here. I've moved them right out of the way because I'm worried that they're going to end up picking it up. But they, they seem to be okay at the moment. So not much going on in the greenhouse. So this is all my sweet corn. I've, you can see I've cut all the tops off of them so it's easier to manage. But I'm going to start harvesting these um, cobs now. There's too many to eat in one go so they're going to go in the freezer. thumbnail in there. Yeah, you should get some milky sap. So, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to pull off the rest of these and then I shall reveal them all. going to pretend that it was the greatest harvest of the sweet corn. Um, I had I think 18 plants in the end. Um, some of them haven't produced anything so I have rescued a few. 
these look like they're probably quite good sizes so I'm going to peel them back and see what we've got. This is not really what you would call a sanding success. Um, there's only 10 cobs there, but like so many others this year, um, crops are just not doing very well at all. So I've got some like this where they're, I don't know whether they've just gone over or they're just dried out, it might be perhaps I should have watered more, I don't know. And this one is a lack of pollination. So, I mean, that's no good. The, um... Yeah. Not good. <laughs> 